Okay, here's how to play Hypocritical Kiss. It's the sixth song on Blunderbuss. And it has a lot of piano in it, so you gotta kind of adapt it for a guitar. Um, first thing, pull up the chord chart. It's useful. So you'll see it starts with a B flat chord, which is, you need B flat major on the sixth fret, which is six, eight, eight, six, eight, eight, seven, six, six. So it's just this bar chord. Now he does like a big piano arpeggio, so he's going like, he goes all the way up to like D and then he goes, I mean, that's still not like, really what he's doing, but that's one way to do it. You can try to get it perfect, but I'm just going to show an easier way, so it's B flat. So what you want to do is kind of go up the strings like this, then down to A major. Just go down a half step, then back to B flat, back to A, and then there's a little thing that kind of descends. I don't know exactly how he's doing it on piano, but this sounds kind of cool if you put your middle finger on. So well, one more thing, it goes B flat A, B flat A, then there's D in parentheses because the first time he doesn't do it, but when he comes back to this, you'll hear a D. So D, just so you can anticipate it later, is 5, 7, 7, 7, starting from here. So this is kind of annoying bar chord shape. So. There's like -na 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 -na. it's going down like chromatically. I don't know exactly what he's doing on piano. I think if I played piano, it'd probably be easier to recognize that pattern. But this sounds kind of kind of good. So you take a little major shape and you start on B flat. This would be B flat major, which is the same same chord as that. And then you just descend like two strums of each, kind of faintly like. you can end up with D and right when you get to D so right when you're here on D sharp when you strum D you want to hit the bass so it fits pretty well with what's going on and then the rest of the song is super basic it's just D F G so D is 0 2 3 2 F I like to do it like this you pretend you're going to do a C chord, but it goes three. Pinky right above it, middle finger on two, and then bar the top two. If you really want F in the bass, you put your thumb here. Or you can do a full F bar chord. But most of the time, a lot of people for songs like this, they just do F like this. And G is three, two, zero, 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 three. So D. Sounds good, start adding like some sus notes. And just start adding some notes to it. Um, the other thing you can try, I was trying to figure out a good way to do this. This sounded better for the intro. You could try this arpeggio. So this is another one that people use a lot. But it feels like it needs to have this bass, so. So I end up setting, settling on this, but if you don't care about having this bass note, this is another pattern people use a lot, and then you get the high note, so... And then you slide down here. So this is like a C major shape. Slid up, so it'd be like pinky on 13, and then 12, 10, middle finger on 11, and then you could bar up to her. I really prefer this. And if you really want to get the higher notes, you could go up to D. I think then it goes. First one, I know it goes to D. Then I think it goes C, D.
Nice. So this song's pretty cool. It's a hard one to adapt, but it's fun just to strum the chords along. So that's um, that's hypocritical kiss. And uh, if anyone has any questions about it or needs help with something else, just leave a comment. All right, bye.